Alright guys, so I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that I've learned from uh, Rumbling, and the best way that I can do that is by example. So, let's see uh, what we got. Um, maxed up, obvious. Alright, so not quite what I was hoping for the first turn, but Bob and Golden Turret does make Swap Bob. So, I'm going to play that and hope for a better one. Alright, cool. So, Angle to face uh, RPG right now, you're going to get 7 shield. It's also going to crit ball, so take less damage anyways, and Death Ball's not going to deal any damage to him. Uh, it's a lie because Bob is going to punch for 3 and going to take a little bit of damage. Doesn't matter though, Tina's going to heal, and we're going to be good. Alright, next, uh, I like Motivate, so uh, you're going to see a bunch of it in my deck, but Amy with Death Ball. Fantastic combo right there. So we're gonna drop down Amy first so she can motivate in elite face. Cool, cool, cool. Hit up Death Ball. Make that wing nut Amy. And at this point, we're gonna win this turn anyways because in elite face has 41 damage. We're gonna kill him. So since we've taken damage, what we wanna do is we wanna play our highest health card. So the way that scoring in Rumble works is, is the, based off of the percent of your remaining health versus your total possible health uh, on the field. So you saw I had a bunch of health missing, but I still got 98 points. So the uh, fact that I lost, I don't know, probably 4 or 5 health at the end there, but I played that 38 health card, I'm going to get a lot more points for that round. Not too far away. Definitely a winnable game. I'll check the numbers after this match. I'm pretty sure that they're close. Alright, so I like seeing this. Even though it's a zap, it's only a level 5 zap. Like, he probably has like a level, I don't know, 8 Bobby or Dale or something. Okay, so. Uh, remember that uh, Wing Nut Amy? So, that's a possibility. But as a backup, in case we don't draw Death Ball, we're going to play with... Uh, the Trivia Man, and make Thinker Ape. So we drop down Amy first. She can kill Stan one shot, so that's great. That's what we want to do. We want to try and kill the first card no matter what. So you want to play the highest possible attack option that you can. So Thinker Ape has 18 attack and 12 gloves. So that's a total of 30 damage on the first turn. Oh, wow. Funny. Uh, Roger has 30 health. But if you can kill their cards and then just keep playing either Motivate or Punch... They're not going to be able to play anything, not going to be able to damage you. If they do damage you, it's going to be from a hero. And if you have a good offensive hero like Tina with, that heals, you're just not going to you're going to heal all the damage that they uh, deal. Alright, so we're going to play Blurns Ball, actually, to get that Motivate on Thinker Ape. And then we're going to play Bob for that 14 glove and make sure that nothing that they play is ever going to survive. All right, hundred, hundred, hundred. Always love to see him. All right, let's see what these numbers are looking like. Oh, damn, twenty grand. All right, so we've got twenty-five on the board. I am on there, and we've got twenty-five on the board. Not looking great. Oh god, they got a thousand. That's our highest. 974. All right, not too far behind, but 1,000 at this stage is incredible. That's actually a really good feat. All right, so see if we can take out their first card. Hopefully, um, not looking like it. So we got two options here. We could play Ruby Zelda. Go for Ruby Zelda Steam, which is Roger's best combo in my deck at least. Or we could go for Nun Peggy. Or there's three Vitruvian Man, so we could hope for the Anally Defaced. I like to play it safe, so I'm going to play Ruby Zelda Steam. Um, actually, let's put the spells first, just in case we get Amy. Nope. So Tina is going to be just short of killing. Actually, no, we don't have any motivate. That's 21 damage right there. If we don't combo, unfortunately, we got crypt. 
so we have to deal with it. That's okay, because 11 wall, knock, mm, I lied. And that jab's going to take out 10 of my wall, so that sucks. It's all cool, though, because mm, hopefully she dies, but she's shielded so by 7. So I don't think we're going to have enough to kill her. Nope. New combo, uh, Oktoberfest Amy, really nice, especially, well, they're not actually going to end up motivating because Probot Artist Peggy only motivates for art cards, but still a great combo all the same. Uh, yeah, because we don't need Nun Peggy to get motivated anymore. It's actually probably going to kill them both because Nun Peggy has that 19 bomb. Alright, Vitruvian Man next. For that motivate and set up a Tina or a Bob. Uh, looks like Peggy's down a lot of health actually, and we're going to win this round anyways, so we're going to play our highest health card again to try and pad our score a bit. Although Peggy actually is going to leech for most of her health back. 99. So close. Alright, let's just hope I don't run into Crumball, because i got a feeling his deck is going to be extremely strong. Alright. I'm going to play Bob, and he has 24 attack with Bandit Bob, but... That's not enough to kill Chris, so we're going to go on the defensive and make a swap bob, which will then heal any other things that we put out. So he's going to kill Chris this turn. We don't need to put the motivate out from fart school. We could play spray on army fry to uh, block the glove with his fence. Alrighty. Um... Spray on Army Fry has a possibility of killing Doomsday. If we motivate it for 7, it'll be 17 plus 6. That's actually only 23 health. 23 damage, so that won't uh, kill anyways. So we're going to play Arcturian Kung Fu. Hope for either Leela or Tina. Mm, not quite what I wanted. Alright. So we're going to put a 10 crip on a card, or we're going to 5 crip all. So Doomsday is going to die anyways. Draw me Tina will not die even with the glove, because she's going to be shielded from being artistic. And oh, that's Family Guy cards. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to play Bob, because we're going to end up crippling two cards for ten. Always get that motivate in there. Alright, so we could crip for fourteen. We're going to have one dead card, two dead cards, so it's going to crip either Deers with Guns or the art card right there, which I don't want to read. Um, we're going to do that. No, we're not. We're going to pad our health. So we're going to play Motivate plus extra health, max health, so that we can hopefully get a higher score on that, because actually we are currently at full health. And that's going to be game, because we can take them out completely. Looks like 100. That SWAT Bob really came in handy. That uh, very nice heal. Alright, don't see many Hanks out there. It's actually a very rare hero. Alright, so we got. Uh, 
21 damage with Royal Housewife, or 19 with Anally Deface, but Anally Deface is also going to take less damage for being Art, so it's going to get shielded, and it's going to crip all. So we're going to go for that, and possibly, nope, if we would have gotten a Tina or a Amy, of course, we could have killed that first card, but it doesn't quite matter. It's going to die anyways. And then that craze is going to take us all the way for a win. Doesn't matter what we play, but I'm still going to, out of habit, play Motivate and High Health. So, just to get in a good uh, habit of doing it. Alright. Doesn't look like too many people are still battling late at night on the east coast, so almost midnight. Alright, two actually very strong combos, Wingnut Leela and Naked Tug of War. Wingnut Leela, however, just has more damage output, but I'm going to play Death Ball first and hope for Amy. Didn't get it. She's going to be able to kill Brian because she's got exactly enough damage, actually. Go for the Motivate. We can either motivate again or play anally to face. I'm going to go for another motivate just to try and end this quicker. And keep motivating. It's a very useful ability in the deck because it and shield, I believe, not shield, fence are the only two abilities that activate the turn you play it. Alright, three more matches. Hope for some more hundreds. Alright, saw the max health. It's not the guy that we are really trying to avoid. Alright, so play V-Man. Can't kill him this turn. Ah, alright. So, options are go for wall, or go for tug of war. Greasy Skadoosh, not quite as good. I'm going to play it safe and go for the defense. Alright, we're not going to win this turn, so we want to prevent as much damage as we can from Gender Bender. That 14 wall is going to be fantastic. Didn't take any damage, actually. So we're going to win this turn. We want to pad our health with that 39 health card. Actually, didn't matter. Got 100. Healed all the way up. That's why Tina is amazing. By far the best, at least the best free-to-play character, hero. Uh, if you have Zap Brannigan maxed out, he's going to heal and punch, and it's going to be disgusting. But I don't spend money on the game like that. Alright, so, Blurring's Ball, we've got... 26, 14, 16, 28. So we're going to play Bob. Oh, it's not quite enough to kill. So we can either... Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to block his damage. Even though it wouldn't have been much. There it is. Alright, uh, Burns Ball. For that Motivate, which did not quite matter, but now we're going to get a lot of Motivate, and Ball Girl's going to heal herself, so the Bob and the Wall can get as much healing as possible, alright, high health and Motivate, always a good card, looks like we are going to win this turn, so we're not going to combo anything with Personalized Beer Mug, instead we're going to play a separate card on its own with the highest health possible, get that in your head. Highest health. Always pad your stats. Alright, alright. Got one more match left. Two more matches. I am a liar. Hmm. Not a great starting hand. So, Sprout Army Fry is going to have 18 by himself. 
with Amy, he'll be 23 damage, which, yeah, isn't enough to take out most cards at this level at least. But, ah, uh, we're going to need that glove to hit her for the kill. Unless, yeah. So we're going to go for the crypt just so we take less damage. It's going to completely zero out one of them, or... Ooh, my instinct is to play Amy, but Egg versus Tornado has that 8 hijack, so we're not going to do that this turn. Instead, we're going to play Bob, hope for one of his combos to come out. Not the best, but definitely a solid combo. Alright. Gonna have a lot of crip on him. He's actually gonna be crip down to zero because 13 from Drunk Amy and one from Tina. Always gotta think about the heroes. So he's not gonna deal any damage. So we are just going to try and pad our health again. Highest health. We are not gonna win this turn. We are getting crypt by quite a lot, actually. Alright. So, to deal with that, I'm going to try and kill something off. That's not going to do it though. You need both gloves to hit Space Stand to do that. Or Ruby. I'm going to go with the glove to try and just keep them down. Didn't end up happening. Alright. Uh, if. This glove hits, he's going to end up dealing 2 damage, which would then add to this. Oh, uh, nope, 16, it's not going to do it. If we play V-Man, however, we should have enough. Yes. To end the game without taking any more unnecessary damage. V-Man wasn't the highest health card, but it's better than taking damage from that turn. I'm playing a high health card instead to try and pad. Alright, last game. Alrighty, so Bob has three, four solid combos right here. However, we're gonna hope for an Amy or. Ooh, I got nothing to kill that. Amy or Tina. Is what I was hoping for. Alright, 34. Still not going to be able to kill it. But we will put out some motivate. Help it out. Ended up dying. That is a quad fuse power card. Not a fun time. And we can't combo anything. So all we can do is motivate. Deal. As much damage as possible, which isn't going to happen. We've got to go through 12 wall right there. We're going to deal 2 damage, and then team is going to heal. So, we're going to counter you with your own Oktoberfest, Leela. What the heck? What did this guy spend on the game? Good God. Alright, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Because, there he is, stressed out Leela going. That is ridiculous. This turn we're going to win though. Annually to face. Going to go completely through. So we just want to pad our health with that Blurns Ball. And it didn't go all the way through. Good thing about cards dying is dead cards don't count against you for your points. So it's actually not too bad that that card died. I'd rather have a card die than survive with low health. Going to lose a lot less points that way. But once again, we're definitely going to win this turn. 55 health on the, or damage on the enemy defaced. Only 6 health, so we're going to pad with 26. Not the best, but still a win either way. 88. Youch. Alright, so hopefully after seeing me play those 10 matches, you see kind of getting in my mindset of how I'm playing this game. I don't by any means pay to win, but with my uh, just thinking out your 
turns before you play them gets you pretty good on the rankings. Don't need to pay to win if you've got strategy. Alright, hope this helps, and good luck rumbling, guys.